Hi guys, uh, this is Guitarist and it's safe and I'm in my home studio. And the other day, I had a really nice large uh, Fender, it's actually a Champion 100. And, um, you know, it's a fairly inexpensive amp, but this was a special edition. And to my horror, as I walked by, uh, unfortunately, uh, my pant leg got caught on the logo. And it snapped that puppy right off. Broken too, just about. And, uh, you know, it just made the app look pretty trashy, really. So, what was I to do? Um, you know, I mean, it's it basically a, pretty much a like new amp, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, it it had the broken logo on it. You know, so I went to the website and just online to look for a replacement. Well. As I, I discovered a couple of things, and uh, well, probably a lot of Fender amp owners are probably not aware of this, but um, I'll be damned if Fender is not cutting corners, um, especially on you know inexpensive amps, and I wonder if not more expensive amps too, uh, and that is their logo is made of freaking plastic. Okay, plastic, that's crap. I'm sorry, it breaks off, it's terrible. You rub your leg against that, and it breaks. So I was really kind of fed up. And here's what I discovered, uh, or at least I couldn't find it. Maybe, maybe somebody else can. I went from website to music website, gear website, you know. And nowhere did I find a replacement Fender faceplate, you know, that was identical to it. That was plastic, you know. Because I wanted the same kind of look to it, of course. You know, just as if it had never happened. Well, um, that didn't happen. I couldn't find a plastic one, you know, and that, to be quite honest, it wasn't my preference, you know, and that's why I discovered is that uh, on a lot of these amps, expensive and inexpensive, the logo is made out of this crummy plastic. I mean, talk about cutting corners. You can be sure that there's some kind of efficiency experts telling them you know, instead of metal, you could make these out of plastic. You would save two cents per amp. You know, and because they're such a big company, you know, that would equal out to hundreds of thousands to million dollars a year in savings. Whatever. Well, it didn't help me much. Um, so I was a little perturbed. And here's the deal. The other thing is, I couldn't find the exact size match either. However, and Fender does sell these, and so I went ahead and ordered one. And it's like 14 bucks more. I paid like fourteen ninety nine or something like that. 15 bucks. And I think that must be what they're saving per amp. You know? by using these crappy plastic logos you know and that break sucks so I went ahead and ordered a Fender logo replacement and what I discovered and this is for large amps I mean the amp I'm talking about you know it's a 2 by 12 so I went ahead and ordered a metal logo 
And here it is, it was 15 bucks, still in the package here. And there's the logo. Except this one, guess what? It's metal. Right? So it's not going to freaking break in half like a piece of crap plastic one. Even comes with a little, um, little screws here to screw it in. Now, it's a little bit bigger than the cheapo plastic one. Um, and I think it should look really good. Um really good on the on the amplifier you know it's a freaking special edition amplifier it should have a metal logo and not a cheapo plastic logo and uh, you know it's the same kind of thing now the screws are in a different place I'm gonna have to screw them in um, there and uh, yeah like I said it's a little bit bigger so We'll see how well that works. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the plastic bag. Okay, here we go. It's the um, unboxing, if you like. <laughs> People get a, really, a real kick out of making YouTube unboxing videos, you know. I mean, that's very exciting, you know, opening a box. <laughs> Okay, so here we go, and inside there's a little package of screws, and here's the metal logo, and it's substantial, man, you can feel it, you know, you're not going to break this in half very easily, there it is, so on an amp it'd be here at an angle, like that, and uh, yeah, it's definitely not um, not identical to the plastic one, but in a way I prefer it. It's actually a little larger, you know. Um, doesn't have the potential of breaking. So let's see if I have any trouble, you know, installing this. And I've got a screwdriver here. So I'm going to take the crappy plastic one, what's, rest of it, what's left of it, take that off and replace it. Uh, with this new one and hopefully it'll, it'll look good we'll see okay so I got the logo installed and because it was a larger logo um, it, it was much uh, much harder than I thought it would be it was actually a real pain in the butt um, I mean those screws my gosh they're so tiny you know, and uh, uh, when I work on real small stuff, I need my glasses, which I should have worn, but I didn't. You know, they're kind of reading glasses type thing, because the screws are so small. And uh, you know, you you know, the truth is, I mean, if I had it, you know, done professionally, they'd probably use a, a little drill. You know. Um, the second thing is, um, I put in a, it's a, it's a, a real different look because, um, it's not shiny, it's not chrome, see the old plastic one was chrome, now they do make a ten dollar, uh, metal replacement, you know, um, which is chrome, you know, um, and I suppose I can always change it out if I don't like it, and it looks really kind of, uh, is different, you know, but with that being said, I might actually grow to really like it because it's a special edition amp, we'll see, and I think that these, uh, logos were on on brown uh, grill cloth, you know, rather than the silver. So it really gives it a very different look. Uh, but I really like it. Um, now, you'll have to take a look at it here and let me know what you think. What's, what's your opinion? 
Um, and should I change it out for the chrome one? Um, it might be nice. You know, um, but this one really stands out, I think. Um, you know, um, and the fact that it's a special edition amp with that red Tolex and things, I think it looks very nice. It really does give it a vintage look to it, you know. Um, definitely. Um, yeah. The other thing that I tried to use the uh, logo to cover up the holes of the um, existing there, you know. Uh, they're tiny and hardly noticeable. Um, but every time I would get one, you know, covered up by one of the letters, the other would show, you know, and still get that kind of right angle, you know, the right angle to it there. I did the best I could, you know. I didn't want to mess with it all that much. It's not that big a deal. But, um, I could always spend ten bucks and and get, um, you know, the, the chrome logo instead of the vintage logo, you know. Um, my guess is it's probably smaller, too. I mean, this is a big, big logo, man, once it's on the amp. All right, let's take a look at it. Okay, there's the amp. Now, let me zoom in here so you can... There's the logo. Yeah, so you can see it here. You know, um, so there it is. Well, I think it looks real nice. You know, I mean, I suppose you could make it chrome. Cause it does look <laughs> a little different here. Uh, let me see it here, you know. And overall impression, I mean, you can see that it's a fender, obviously. But, um, it's a little different. By the way, see that black star? The damn plastic logos. Those break all the damn time. I mean, I have to replace them constantly. What a pain in the ass. I wish they had done it in metal. These damn black star logos. You know, anyway. So there it is, right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably in chrome might look nicer. You know, I might do that at some point. I don't know. It's, it definitely looks different, for sure. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it's a big improvement over a freaking broken plastic one, you know. And, you know, when I took it out, I mean, it basically fell apart in my hands. It's like brittle. It was crap. So, there it is. Um, I don't know. I mean, let's look at it from a distance, you know. Um, now, I'm looking at it through the little camera viewfinder, so it doesn't, you can, you know, barely see it, really. But in person, I mean, it's quite visible, you know on there. I don't know that makes that all that big a difference. And in fact I kinda like that look. It's, it actually is kinda cool. Kinda cool. And it should be a little different because it, you know, just the fact that it has the red Tolex as a special edition, it shouldn't be like looking like, you know, every other amp and stuff. So there it is. You know, oh, and getting those screws in was a real pain. Man. Especially with just a cruddy screwdriver. You know, and I had to use it because the screws are so small. My standard, you know, screwdriver and drill bits, or drill bits, screwdriver bits, wouldn't fit. Because they're, they're so damn small. The screws, I mean. Alright, so there it is. I don't know. 
Tell me what you think of it. Um, yeah. Maybe just for fun, I might uh, order one of the chrome ones and replace it at some point. You know, it depends. I mean, if I, it was so hard to get those screws in, I don't know if I want to mess with it again. You know, because I might strip the screw and then that'd be a pain in the butt, too. Anyway, there it is. Looks kind of cool, I think. Okay. Okay, now, the the screws I was able, or the, I'm sorry, the logo, the chrome ones I've been able to find have this kind of black, besides the stripe and the lettering. You know, the lettering, it has this black kind of background on the lettering. You know, and the little plastic one didn't have that at all, you know, on the F part of the logo, <laughs> you know, the first letter, uh, whereas this one does, uh, it's kind of a, I don't know, I could get used to that, I guess, but you know, the, I think the proper logo would probably be the chrome one, you know. But I guess that, you know, all in all, it doesn't really matter all that much. I'd rather have this one than a broken one that really did look crappy. You know, I don't think this is so bad. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a bigger, you know. Um, and I think if it was a standard Fender amp, you know, it, it'd be like, you know, why is the logo different? Whereas here, you know, with the red Tolex and things, you would assume that it'd be a little different. I don't know. You can leave your opinions. I'm sure there are Fender experts out there who said, oh, well, it's at the wrong angle, blah, 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 blah. Fine. <laughs> you know, man, I, I, I just did it real quickly, really. You know, it's not, um... I just did it by hand, and basically I just kept my thumb over the logo while I screwed it in with my right hand, you know. So, yeah, I probably should have taken the time, you know, to measure out on these other Fender amps, you know. Um, for example, here's a, there's a standard uh, Fender logo. So it would look kind of like that, you know. And now that's a Fender X2, I think. But I haven't been able to find this this particular logo like that. Right here, the only ones I've been able to find are, they're kind of like that, like this one. Let me turn that on. Um, that's on a Princeton Course DSP here. Yeah, see that Fender? logo and see the black around the lead rings now this one doesn't have the little you know underlining you know like uh like that one has see that um you know so but it and it, yeah you see the on the course dsp the fender logo doesn't have the swooshy thing the underlining but see the black lettering around it here well the one that I found that is chrome I can show it to you here so it looked kind of like that and I mean that's pretty nice and, and it is metal as well and it's about ten bucks so um, I may do that at some point I don't know I th in a way it kind of looks cool you know the way it is Maybe just leave well enough alone, you know. I don't know. And it's actually ten ninety nine plus free shipping if I wanted to do that. I don't know. I don't know. It looks pretty cool, really. I mean, I don't know if it'll come through on the video of, you know, the look of it. But it, uh, in person, it, really, it looks cool. And the, the longer it's on there, <laughs> the more I get used to it, you know. Um, 
Yeah, it's kind of strange. When I when I first put it on, I was like, oh my. You know, it looks so different. Uh, but now, you know, I don't see it as all that different. I mean, it looks like it fits there, you know, even without the chrome. It's kind of cool, you know. I don't know. That's a really hard decision whether it's worth spending 11 bucks, um, you know, for the chrome thing. And, you know, and with the black background, now I'm sure there must be. A, um, some kind of fender part number, you know, to get the the one um, just like this one, but chrome, you know. Um, I don't know this one is a it's basically a genuine fender amplifier part, black face metal amp logo plate. <laughs> with screws so and it fits a whole bunch of different amps unfortunately this isn't one of them <laughs> you know um, I don't know I might leave well enough alone I'm not sure I'm not sure your boy you sure get used to it pretty quickly you know once it's been on there you, you do get used to it, I mean, really fast. It's not like it's an eyesore and you're like, oh, there's something wrong here, you know. I, I suppose the very first time I I put it on and really sat back and looked at it, I go, man, that is so different. But uh, now, you know, it's only been like, you know, what, 15 minutes maybe? Now I see it and I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Definitely gives you a vintage look about it, you know, without the without the chrome on there. I don't know. I guess that's the question: to chrome or not to chrome? All right. I don't know. I'll probably follow up this video uh, later with another video and see what I've done. If if I if I go ahead and get a uh, a chrome, you know, logo to put on there. It'd be very interesting. I'd do another video, you know, comparing the two. You know, I don't know. You know Eleven dollars is so cheap anyway. It'd be fun just to try. You know, though I I would hope that the holes would match up. You know, I'm not sure they would. Um, I did the best I could, Matt, trying to cover up those holes. Um, and, and that's the thing. I mean, you have to understand too. I mean, I'm not a, uh, a I'm not a, a handyman. I'm not a woodworker. Uh, you know, and this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. I, I worked on computers for years, and put, putting on this logo kind of reminds me of that, you know. Um, the damn computers, you know. And different screws for a CD-ROM, different screws for a hard drive, different screws for a case, you know, that kind of thing. And, and sometimes they wouldn't give you any screws at all, so you had to rely on what you had. Or if they did, they gave you a little a little packet of screws, and they're all freaking different sizes. You know, I wish they were a little more universal. That's all. You know, and and, and um, piercing too. That would make it a lot easier. You know, then you wouldn't have to drill any holes. But I'm sure there are. You know people much more handy than me that, you know, have all the tools available and can do it in, in a heartbeat and, and, you know, perfectly and screw in the holes and measure it and line it all up and stuff, you know. And that's fine. That's great. You know, I just 
for me, I, you know, <laughs> I don't want to pay anyone to put on the logo, and I, I just wanted to, uh, you know, at least not have a broken uh, logo, which really looked terrible. I mean, it really looked bad. Uh, yeah, I made mean, like there's something wrong with the amp when the, when there isn't, you know. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You know. All right. Uh, well, let me know in your in the, in the comments to chrome or not to chrome, and is it worth eleven bucks? And the time to replace it again, or just keep this vintage one, call it a day. Let me know your thoughts. Okay. See you next time. Bye.